Welcome back everybody. This is Eric here with Iraq Veteran 8888. Uh, we've got another video here for you at SHOT Show 2016. We're kind of walking around showing off all the new sights and sounds and all the cool things that are going on. Uh, we stopped by the CZ USA booth here to have a look around. You guys know uh, in some of our recent videos, you know, we've been reviewing CZ guns over the years and, and I'm a big fan of the CZ 97. I'm a big fan of the CZ uh, Scorpion Evo pistol. You know, I, I know you guys have probably seen that one. Uh, that gun has really been kind of setting the world on fire this last year. I think it's probably one of the, the, the guns that they've sold the most of. I can't speak on that officially, obviously, but they have sold a lot of those things. So new for 2016, many of you guys were asking us to show these things off. We got the new Scorpion carb uh, carbine, okay? Now, one of the things that they've kind of changed around a little bit is now you're going to have a 16.2 inch barrel. Obviously, it has to be a 16 inch barrel to be considered a rifle but you've got a half by 28 uh, thread pitch on the barrel. So many of you guys were complaining about the odd, you know, 18 millimeter threads on the, uh, you know, the, the Scorpions, which by the way, all the new Scorpion pistols that are uh, shipping out, all the newer produced ones will have a little threaded stub on there. So it'll be half by 28 and 18 millimeter. That's kind of a side note, but all the carbines will be the half by 28 threading. That way uh, you can run all your standard muzzle devices, suppressors, things like that. Uh, you've got a folding stock mechanism. Now, uh, I've been told also that uh, this stock mechanism will work on the pistol. So guys, this is pretty much the same as the pistol. It just has the features that make it a rifle. You got the you know longer barrel and everything like that. You probably notice in this M-Lock forend that's on it, you can see these swells on the forend here. That's to allow for a suppressor to go up under it. Now, why would you need to worry about it in the carbine, you ask? Well, if you put this, uh, this forend on your pistol, then you can run a faux suppressor, a real suppressor, anything you want. Now, I'm gonna show you another model that they have that has a faux suppressor that actually you know, makes up the overall length and it looks like a suppressor. I'm gonna show you that in just a moment, but it allows for the clearance of a suppressor under the handguard if you want. Now, these are M-Lock forends, so obviously there's no rail sections on it right now, but you have complete modularity for putting your rails on there, okay? Pretty simple. Uh, this gun is the, the, the gun you pretty much know and expect out of the Scorpion pistol, but in a rifle form. Magazine compatibility is the same. In case we didn't mention, it's nine millimeter. I'm sure you guys know that. Uh, but that, there's the uh, rifle. These will be shipping, uh, I think I said two or three months, they'll start kind of hitting the store shelves and everything. So uh, to show you exactly what we're talking about, so say I wanted to run this M-Lock 4 in on my CZ Scorpion pistol, okay? And I want to run a suppressor uh, up underneath the, the handguard to kind of keep that overall length nice and short and everything like that, okay? I could do that. I could take this four in and put it on my pistol and then you got, you can see how this faux suppressor that Silencer Co. makes is up under the actual four in here. You can see the barrel stops about right there. Now this is a faux setup. So this one is still a 16.2 inch overall length barrel but it has the look of a short barrel with a suppressor attached. So the configuration that you see right here that I'm holding is pretty close to the configuration you could expect an SBR uh, version of the pistol to be in. So you are gonna have a longer forend if you decide to go with their M-Lock forend on there, but you'll still be able to tuck that suppressor up underneath, keep it nice and short, nice and compact. So there's the new, uh, new rifle. I can't wait for that, that's gonna be cool. All right. Also, uh, the Bryn 805. Uh, this is actually a Czech military uh, rifle that they import a version of, and they have their own little version here. You've got a folding stock, uh, adjustable, okay, different positions, okay, so it's collapsible. All right, it is a piston driven gun, it's got a uh, adjustable gas system. It's a 16.2 inch cold hammer forged barrel. They, uh, chrome lined uh, chamber and bore, half by 28 threading, and like I said, adjustable gas system. It's a non-reciprocating charging handle on this gun. Uh, a lot of people complain about that, but the thing is, is for, for military use and for military uh, specifications, they generally don't like a non-reciprocating charging handle when it's in a gun like this. They want to be able to smack the charging handle if they need as a Ford Assist, so that's kind of the reasoning for that. Uh, these guns are a little bit more expensive than the Scorpion offerings because there's a lot more metal used in the construction than some of the polymers that you're going to see in the Scorpion. So that is going to, you know, attribute a little bit of cost difference there. Uh, these are probably going to retail for around $2,000. Uh, you do have an ambidextrous uh, safety on this. 
The trigger on this gun is much better than the Scorpion. The Scorpion, they were kind of going for a, sort of a just mil spec, you know, heavy trigger, nothing too fancy on that. And also trying to keep the cost real reasonable on the Scorpion. But on the Bryn, you know, this is what you would expect out of a military style firearm. Uh, so obviously some of those features are going to make the gun a little bit on the more expensive side. Uh, my only complaint that I see so far, and it's not really a complaint, it's more of a, well, it's a complaint, okay, but one thing, I, I would probably prefer to see maybe just a little bit heavier barrel profile on this gun. Uh, that, I mean, it, it does make the gun uh, definitely on the light side, it's light and handy, it points quick and everything like that. I do like this rifle, I, I, I'm very interested in maybe, you know, doing some work with this thing at some point. I would, I probably would have went with just maybe a little bit heavier barrel profile. Uh, it shouldn't be an issue, uh, but remember, on the Bryn pistols, you know, last year they released a NATO 5 in a pistol form, you got like a little 11 and a half inch barrel on that gun. So if you wanted to take this stock mechanism, swap it out and run you an SBR, you could do that too. So that's kind of cool, you know. So even with a, a, a lighter contour barrel, you can still get some rigidity with it being shorter. It just kind of depends on, on what, you're, what you're all about there. Uh, of course, the proof's in pudding. You have to shoot it, see how it runs. You know, it, it probably shoots just fine. I'm certainly not saying that it, it's not a, uh, a good barrel profile. I'm sure it works just fine. Uh, but there's the 805 Bryn. That's pretty cool. I'm looking forward to getting my hands on this gun and uh, shooting it a little bit. It's definitely an uh, interesting contender. Uh, and you know, they're going to come in around two grand at suggested retail, which means a street on them, probably be a little bit less than that. Just going to be one of those things, supply and demand kind of thing. At first, you know, the price is probably going to be a little silly because everybody be trying to snatch them up. Then the prices will level back out. All right. You can see here, obviously, we got a black and flat dark earth in terms of colors. Uh, you know, when I was talking to them, I didn't think to ask them if they were ever going to offer a flat dark earth scorpion. I would imagine if they were, it would be here. But maybe if they're listening, that could be a future thing. I know some of you guys are hipsters that like your flat dark earth stuff, and that's fine. All right, another thing, I'm not gonna take up much more of your time. The uh, SP-01, it's all metal frame. Uh, you guys are familiar with CZ-75, SP-01. I mean, this is a gun that, that I love personally. You can see we've got some high night sights and a threaded barrel, Picatinny rail on the bottom. So this is a gun that's new for 2016. Uh, you guys know that I am a nut when it comes to CZ handguns. Uh, I was asking them if, we were, if they were ever gonna come up with some type of a CZ-97 with a threaded barrel. Unfortunately, guys, it's not on the horizon anytime soon, but it could eventually come to pass, hopefully, we'll see. But there's your uh, little CZ-75 right there with a the threaded barrel. This is gonna be a really fun suppressor host. For those of you guys that like CZ-75s, you're, you're in luck now, because you got this set up. So uh, that's pretty much what's new that we want to show you from uh, CZ this year. Uh, we're gonna be moving around and checking out a whole bunch more stuff. Guys, we got many more videos coming from the SHOT Show floor here. Make sure you stay in tuned. Uh, we got a lot going on. We're actually causing a bit of a traffic jam here, so we're gonna shut up and move along. But thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you soon. Much more SHOT Show coverage on the way. Thanks for watching.